What's up guys, Captain Ross here, East Allen Aquatics, and this is my messy tank, to say the least. So, you know the tanks at the aquariums, let's say you go to the Toledo uh, Zoo and Aquarium, and you know the tank that's got the bobbers floating in it, it's got the boot, it's got the toilet seat, it's that trash tank, right, that trashy tank with just lots of cover and stuff. So I kind of wanted to model that, I don't know why, I just felt like it. Because this tank was getting really gross. I had goldfish in it. Which the goldfish did well. But I didn't really bother cleaning the glass or anything. So the tank got kind of gross. And I had some other stuff that was looking dirty. So I threw it all in here. And decided to use it to my advantage. As a uh, gambusia breeding tank. So I've got one male. And four female gambusia in here. And they're the melanistic variety. That I've been breeding for a while. I've got tons of them right now. Probably hundreds. And I'm going to be selling them. So hit me up if you'd like to buy some before it gets cold. I can sh start shipping. Or if you live in Fort Wayne, let me know. Anyway, uh, I have tons of cover in this tank, so we'll go over that. And then I've just got a little Penplex light that makes the uh, pink glow. I don't know. It's not very pleasing, but at the same time, it's kind of pleasing to the eye with the pink glow. Just basic random tank where I threw a bunch of stuff in to let the uh, fry survive. Because the... If you, knew, if you guys know anything about Gambusia, they love to eat their fry, like more than guppies. They will seek them out and just eat them. I mean, they'll attack fish that are their size and nip and things. So it's very important to give them lots of cover or grow them in tub ponds where there's lots of algae and scum for the f babies to hide in. And so that they're always eating. So they're always eating like mosquito larvae and um, the daphnia and other thing, microorganisms and algae in the water. That way they're not hungry for their fry. So that's the best way to do it, but if you're doing it inside, you definitely want lots of cover. And make sure you use sponge filters, that works a lot better too. Anyway, we'll get into the tank, there's not much special, but here's my here's a pair here for you to look at. So the males, uh, my males have a very interesting color pattern, like a Dalmatian. So you can call them Dalmatian mosquito fish. But uh, they're melanistic Gambusia hobrooki, so it's the eastern mosquito fish. So if you go down to Florida and you're in the brackish area, you can cast net and get these guys along with some mollies and stuff. So um, mine are completely fresh, fresh water, and pretty easy to care for besides the fact that they can nip. But they're just a nice looking live bear and a little unique compared to your uh, guppy or platy. And their gonopodiums are very, if you saw it, just flex it a bit. Their gonopodiums are long and perf like pronounced, the uh, males are, when they get full color. It takes them a long time to color up, a couple months, but when they do, they look really pretty. Definitely one of my favorite fish, and I'm very glad I got my hands on them. So I got a good amount of females in here, four. Uh, I would almost do four to, like a four to one ratio. I mean, you can do a trio, which is good, but like if you're doing, it's good to do three to one is probably a fair bet for these guys because they can get very aggressive, and you definitely want a minimal amount of uh, males because the the babies will just get gobbled up. So you definitely want less males, and trust me, they're going to mate enough to where you don't need a bunch of males in there. So this is a good setup. They have not bred yet in this tank, but in the pond they've been doing uh, very well. So this is a little spawning mop, your traditional yarn uh, with a knot at the end and some foam. And then this I made myself. So what it is, is it's a piece of styrofoam with lots of little things sticking out. So see, it's just a piece of styrofoam with lots of little fake plants sticking out at the bottom. So that way the fish can hide. And then I just have some plant, some live plants in here too that are barely surviving, little crypts and stuff. But yeah. So not too much going on in here. Just basic gambusia uh, breeding and such. Now we'll come over to this tank. Over to the right. Let me power this guy up. Unplug that and plug this in. down here Apologize. 
apologize for the setup here. So in here is where I keep all my uh, extra males inside. Of course I have a lot in the pond too, but these guys are all males. So these guys are mature. Over here we got a really dark one. And then you have some ones that have not fully developed their color yet. So this is just a basic tank, just a really messy random tank. That's just a holding tank for the males. Which I am looking to sell the mature ones. So before this is what the normal gambusia look like anyway. They just look colorless. And then mine look like this. So the colorless ones are gonna gain their color in probably a month. And they'll be ready to breed. And well they're ready to breed already, but they'll be ready for sale. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys. If you're interested in the gambusia I have, uh, let me know. Dalmatian mosquito fish, they're very uncommon. Not a normal thing to see anywhere unless you go to like a convention or something. So let me know if you're interested and I will see you guys in the next video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.